Howdy folks, this is Darth Alpha. Um, just starting a game here of RimWorld. Um, I've noticed that uh, there's a, a distinct lack of people who play Combat Extended for more than just like one-off videos, so I've decided that I'm going to try and fill a niche here. So uh, I understand my audio quality is not the best, but uh, bear with me here. So um, for mods, I have... Uh, the primary ones are obviously Combat Extended. I've got a bunch of quality of life ones for myself. Most of the vanilla Expanded series and a couple just here and there ones. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. So we're going to start a new colony. We're going to do Crash Landed here. And we are going to be playing on Randy Random. Um, I'm not a particularly diehard... No, that's the wrong word. I'm not, I don't super like difficult games, so I typically stick with Strive to Survive. I'm going to do Reload anytime, just in case mods behave strangely. Um, we're going to crank the population up. 50%. Cannibal Pirates. Nudist and Cannibal Tribes. Um, let's see. And I'm actually going to increase the number of Civil, um, civil Outlanders, because... The rest of these are typically hostile, um, and I want to increase the number of people who are of, like, space or tech so that I can trade with them more. Let's see. And for the seed, we're going to do combat extend extended. There we go. All right. Generating world. Yeah, you can see some of the mods I have here. I'll try and uh, put the, together a collection on the Steam Workshop. There we go. Alrighty, so... I don't want to do a crazy biome. We're not going to do sea ice or anything this time. Um, the idea here is that I'm going to pick, pick kind of middle-of-the-road options um, because I want people to see what combat extended is like to play with. So I think we're going to do Arab or Arid. Let's see. I want to be on a road. We've got some friendly people here, friendly people here. More friendlies, and another group of friendlies. So I think we're going to stick on this road here. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to do temperate or desert. Do I want desert? Now we're going to do right here, uh, pretty much on the equator, year-round growing zone, because I don't find... Well, I guess we can do something a little harder. Are these guys friendly? Yeah, they're not too bad. These people can become friendly. Uh, but they start out hostile. These guys, surprisingly friendly. Yeah, I think we're going to do over here. They can become friendly. Uh, let's see. Year-round? Oh, it's still year-round. Yeah, this isn't a terrible spot. We'll, we'll go here. So I'm going to play with a fluid um, ideology because I haven't done much with these before. We're going to do hedonism. Let's see. We're just going to go with ideological here. Kind of middle of the ground. And we are going to do... Let's see. I think we're just going to go with... What's a Republic do? Leaders 3. I think we're just going to be Xenophiles. So that'll be fairly simple. Actually, no, we're gonna go back. Oh, jeez. Ideological. We're gonna go with individualist. Yeah. And then we're gonna come down here. Where is cannibalism? We're gonna do cannibalism is acceptable. So people won't care really one way or the other. Yeah, everyone is just pretty pretty neutral on this stuff. Uh, eating aliens is acceptable. Yeah. And I am going to edit these and remove those because these can be real problems with Combat Extended. Okay. Mandrills venerated. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and get ourselves some big old monkey boys. Alright, 
we're gonna go. So I'm gonna set up some filters here. So they're not gonna be incapable of it. anything. No health conditions. We're gonna set it to normal, not fast. Uh, there's a bit of a bug right now where if you set it to fast, about half of the pawns that you roll will be gay, which, you know, is fine, but it's just, it's a strange bug. I'm gonna set it so they need at least four passions. And we are going to randomize. Okay, so likes plants, likes medical work, intellectual, very neurotic. Heat inclined is going to be helpful down there at the equator. Dunce is obnoxious. Trigger happy fisherman, optimist. They already have four passions, so I actually don't need to re-roll this person. And dog person, lush, dunce. Ooh, this person sucks. So we're going to randomize again. Cooking. Astronomist. Well, that's not bad. Night Owl. Not awful. Nudist. Kind of sucks. Brave. I think we're going to randomize again. Alright, so we got mining, plants, and animals. Ecologist. And abrasive. Well, we don't have any good shooters. We don't have anyone good at construction. So I'm going to reroll... this guy okay someone who's decent at construction but our shooting is still awful crafting is terrible okay I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little more specific here so I want someone who's decent at crafting someone who's decent at construction and someone who's decent at shooting I'm randomize this might take a little bit longer there we go 116 rerolls later Okay, they're not very good, but they like shooting. Decent at, well, decent at mining. Okay at construction. Crafting's good. Yeah, this'll work. They have a brother. Oh, hey, a brother. That'll, ooh, she's 17, though. Okay. Look at this person. Who's the mother? Oof. Alrighty, I think these are gonna be our people. So we've got Ata. We're gonna rename this fellow here. Let's see. So I've got my wife here. Uh, honey, what do you think I should name this first person? They're decent with plants, animals, and medical, and intellectual. Smarts. Smarts? Okay. And I think we're just gonna leave the default. We've got Penny, trigger happy, fisherman optimist. Actually, this person is really doubled up with smarts. I think I am going to re-roll them. Let's see what we get. Cooking, animals, medical... Nope, that's almost exactly the same. Nope. Nope. That's not too bad. Okay, Savannah. And then we've got Marta, whose name is Squint. It's kind of cute. Squishy? Squishy? Okay. Squishy. Alrighty. I think we are ready to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to include a timestamp in here, uh, if you just want to start here. Okay, three of you, everyone's already read this, or they don't care. Okay, so we're going to allow everything. I've noticed that people don't start with the armor anymore. I wonder if that's new. Huh. Okay, so... Did I install that mod? Oh, that's from ideology. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We've got a good patch of soil here. We've got an ancient danger. Don't have any other abandoned structures nearby, aside from these vending machines. Okay, so we're going to have to build from scratch here. Um, I actually like building out of wood for the first little bit, especially. Um, but I'm not the kind of person who will avoid wood at all costs. So then we're going to go wooden doors. 
got a couple extra mods in here that I'm not used to, so it's moving stuff around. Got beds. And we are going to then put a storage zone in here. And then a growing zone. 11 by 13. And that is going to be rice. Rice. Alrighty. Let's set up some work priorities here. So this is how I always do it. Um, let's see. Don't need managing. Don't need fishing. No writing or research or art. Copy a blank one. Paste it for everyone else. So you're going to be our cook and our constructor. Grow. Um, I suppose you can hunt as well. And what animal did we start with? Was it the rat? No. Panda. Ah. Oh, it's a little uh, beagle. Who cannot be trained to haul, which is kind of unfortunate, but still cute. Alright, work here. So we don't need a handler because domesticated animals like dogs will not uh, lose skills. Let's see. Do we start with any good wildlife? There's some alpaca, boomalopes. Buffaloes. Okay, so we've got some of the good ones to start with. We might consider building a uh, animal enclosure. A big one right there. Okay. And then... Yeah, I'm going to unpause. Oh, right. Uh, so you need... Okay, so this is where people start to freak out. They start up and they equip a gun. You're our hunter. Yeah. So you get the big gun. Squishy, you get the pistol. And Savannah, you get the knife. Uh, they start up, and then they realize that there's this whole ammunition thing, and they don't know what to do. And it's not too bad in the very beginning, but people will start to freak out after a little while. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to use the inventory system or the, uh, the loadout system, so like this screen, how to use it, what to use it for, um, how to assign it to people. Um, that deals with most of the problems people have with Combat Extended, where they say that they don't like the micromanagement. Of it. Uh, really, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to tell cut plants in this region. I'm gonna tell that it's forbidden. This will help with the uh, trees. That way our constructor doesn't get stuck chopping down a tree that they're terrible at for five, six minutes. already. Okay, so we're going to build a storage crate here. Um, some of these mods are going to be considered a little overpowered by some people. I don't really mind because I don't like having these storage rooms take up three quarters of your base, but that's just me. Right. So let's get more of that going. Um, do we have an idle person yet? No. So we're still hauling in some of that stuff. Alrighty. Structure. I'm gonna get him started on this. Center. Yeah. We'll throw one of these guys in here. Once this is done, we'll consider putting someone on handling. Oh, that's obnoxious. Shrink. So. 
schedules. This tends to be a little bit more recreation time than they need, but it does tend to matter because um, people will work on things that they enjoy during recreation time sometimes. That. I'm going to say that this is going to be cotton. Um, one thing with combat extended is you do need a consistent uh, source of um, cloth, um, especially for some of the um, gear that you'll have to create. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'm going to copy the settings from a default uh, storage bench. I'm going to paste them into the storage thing, and then I'm going to take the um, storage zone, and I'm going to set it to a low priority. So people will take things and put them in to the storage by default. Animals cannot haul to these, or at least I think they can be set to, uh, but I don't turn that on because... Though amusing, the idea of a German Shepherd taking some Tupperware apart and putting um, putting some meals in them is... I think that's a little overpowered in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to select all the wild he heal roots. I'm going to tell them to harvest the fully grown stuff. That'll kick our medicine off a little bit. Got some cotton going. Okay. It's coming along. Okay, now we need to potentially look at some research here. Let's crank that up to speed three. Ah, I hate that they changed that. I'm gonna actually move this. We are going to start growing. Let's see what can we grow. We've already got rice going. We are going to start growing. I think we're going to grow some smoke leaf, just in case people need a little bit of a, a little bit of a mood boost. Build a power conduit. Here. So I'm really weird with these power conduits. Um, set another person to do construction. Um, I'm super weird with these uh, power conduits. I really, really, really hate when I'm sitting here under siege and a mortar drops and suddenly it hits one power conduit that connects half my base to the other half. Now suddenly nothing has power. I find that super obnoxious. So I tend to make very redundant power cables, like I'll have some going down here, and I'll have some going here, and here, stuff like this, so that if this gets hit, I don't lose it everywhere. Um, I'm sure it'll be really obnoxious, but that's just how I like to play. So the nice thing about these electric power benches is that they can function without power. You can turn them off and they will still work just fine. Uh, it's just a slower paced thing. I guess there's a uh, way you can crank it or something. Alrighty. So let's see what we need. Um, everyone is going to need... Okay, so, so this is what I like to do. I, I set up this so that there is less micromanagement. 
uh, or rather you micromanage once and then everything gets taken care of. So like for instance, I'll do boots. Make until two details. Normal, 55%, and only allowed ingredients. So what this does is, I mean, it's kind of obvious. It, you make two of them until there's two on the ground of the allowed ingredients that are 55% higher in hit points, normal or higher, and do not count tainted or equipped. So when, and then I will take down here under outfits, outfits, um, normal or higher, 55 or higher. So there will always be two changes of clothing. And then I'll do this for all the stuff that I'm allowing them to wear. Oh my gosh. I'm regretting this this mod. Using some of those chicken plucker tactical mods. And though they're nice, they are obnoxious. Okay, we're going to set this. Why is there slag? Whatever. Simple meal. Do until we have... Nine. Um, a simple meal will rot in about three days. Uh, I have three colonists, so I need three of them uh, each. And if I keep it like that, so nine total, uh, that will prevent them all from rotting away. We've got plenty of packaged survival meals right now. Um, but... Oh, oh yeah, ancient danger, like I was saying. Uh, we've got plenty right now, but it's good to get this set up for the future. Okay, so it looks like all of our plants are planted currently. The pen is set up, so it's growing 7.41. Let's look at wildlife. Let's see if we can tame some alpaca. we got three females and a male, so that's actually pretty good. Get those guys trained up, and we'll train two muffalo. Ah, uh, we'll train three. Help keeps the gene pool a little bit wider. Okay, Squishy's upset. Why is Squishy upset? Recreation starved. Oh, yep. The initiatory forgetting to put the horseshoe pin down. Okay. Alright, so the first structure is up. Now I'm going to, this is what, nine? Okay, so we're gonna do another nine by nine here. Gonna put a door here, a door there. Set this up to auto cut. We want to cut down burnt trees, oak, poplar. Are those the only kind of trees that grow here? I guess so. Um, bear berries can stay, apple can stay, all the rest of that can stay, set to auto cut. Um, now every morning I will designate all of these trees to be cut. Bit of a task to start with, but it becomes more approachable quickly. Okay, so this is going to be our proper barracks now, so I'm going to set them to reinstall. Normal, poor, normal. Okay, so I'm actually going to build two more. Oh, I don't have quality builder in here. Just one more. Dismantle that one. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying right there. Alrighty. Steel do we have? Plenty. Um, I normally play with the quarry mod, and I'm not with this one because I think that that's even a little cheaty for myself. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little more careful with my resources. Yeah, squishy, get to it. Work. Uh, fickle wind power. So let's set someone to handle. Hunt, grow, plant. I'm going to set handle as priority two. There's cell swords. What's this for? Are they mercenaries or do they literally sell swords? Either are acceptable. I guess 
Brand is going to be our warden. Um, I always assume that the person with the highest charisma, or rather highest social, is going to be the leader. Um, so I always put them to the front just so that I never have to figure out what's going on there. Okay, no, we're going to wait for them to come to us. Do I have a trading spot? Caravan trade spot. There we go. Alrighty, so we got our floors down already. Nice. Um, we're gonna set up a wooden stone cutter's bench out here. Gonna build a bit of a roof. And there. Dumping stockpile. Uh, no corpses. Yes, chunks. To build a butcher table as well. It's so obnoxious. People had to ruin it by uh, <laughs> sticking beds down instead of chairs. Uh, okay, and then another dumping zone here. These are going to be for corpses, animal corpses, but not insect corpses. And we will not allow rotten, and then we will make another zone over here, which will be not fresh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Corpses. Not fresh. We're going to set that to preferred so that they haul them over there. Brant, come over here. Oh, I guess they're kind of mercenaries. Are any of these guys any good? Good melee, academian. Hmm. 24. Not awful. <clears throat> can we sell them? We can sell them our herbal medicine. We have 800. If we do that, can we afford that? No, not quite. Can afford this person. Or you. Tortured artist and pessimist. And that's not the worst combination ever. Capable of caring or dumb labor. Hmm. Clean health. Yeah, we'll do that. So we now have purple turtle. Welcome, Purple Turtle. Oh, I'm going to paste. You're going to be set up to grow. I'm going to take them off these guys. And let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Um, however, you're not going to be doing your job just yet. Build another structure here. A five by five on the side. Just kidding, that's six. Prison. Gonna build a dresser here. Improve the quality of all of those a little bit. Do I not have the fans mod? Oh, what is that from? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll be fine. I normally have a mod that adds ceiling fans, but alas, not today. Turbine's so fickle. Purple Turtle has decided to take a nap on the edge of the map. It's making me a little nervous, so I'm going to tell him to come up here. Oh, cute little friar. Hello, friar. Oh, getting some nuzzles in. What's your nuzzle frequency? Nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. Twelve hours. Okay, okay. So he's a walking good mood, basically. Do I have the 
this one. Ah. Yeah, I don't need any more. Bye! Does you have any? Nah. Mm. Hang on. Halberd, huh? That's pretty neat. Alright, our constructor fam. Can we get on this? So I'm going to try and convert this guy from his current religion, which is... I mean, that's not awful. I mean, this is not a terrible, terrible religion that... But it doesn't super mesh with ours right now. Cat just yawned in my wife's face. Apparently, she's got bad breath. So, the the cat, specific. The little Luna. Okay. Let's see, here. we got the auto cut working right now. Um, I guess another alternative would be to make this whole area a growing zone and then they'll cut down trees but this is fine okay so we're going to set this for prisoners we are going to arrest purple turtle purple turtle can come up here bandit who's going to have our best option here 90% perfect Okay, and we have you as the warden. So, Purple Turtle, you are now going to be converted, then recruited. Actually, no, we can just do convert. Nope, we have to do convert, then recruit. Because we do not want them as a slave. Slaves are bad juju. Uh, what gear do they have? Huh. That's not terrible, actually. Slightly better than the stuff we've got on. Yeah, Synthread is pretty decent, um, but it does not provide much protection at all. I guess I should explain the protection a little bit. So, uh, Combat Extended changes a lot of stuff. And the thing I see the, uh, the least understood is armor. And in, in that respect, armor penetration of ammunition. So... Um, in Vanilla Rimworld, there is sharp and blunt protection, which is just given in a percentage. Um, and there's some fairly simple math that I don't know uh, that determines whether or not something will penetrate um, armor. With Combat Extended, it's set up, uh, instead of in, pe or instead of in uh, percentages, it's set up as um, actual units here. So, for instance, we have uh, the overall protection of... Uh, smarts here is 0.13 millimeters RHA. That is rolled homogenous armor. It is a type of steel. Uh, it was a type of steel that was used to make tanks and stuff back in the day. Now we use different materials. There's actually not a whole lot of steel uh, in the armor of most tanks, uh, most modern tanks anyways. Um, but it's a, a pretty standardized unit that gives you numbers that can be understood fairly well. So, um, the shorts that, um, Smarts is wearing here provide him with, uh, 0.16 millimeters of rolled homogenous armor worth of protection. So if he had a piece of sheet metal, 0.16 millimeters thick of rolled homogenous armor, that's the equivalent there. Um, and the blunt is in megapascals, um... And I don't know exactly how much a megapascal is, quite frankly. Let me let me check here. Megapascal. Because that's going to convert to PSI, I believe. To PSI. So, one megapascal is 145 PSI. I don't know what the... Or what the metric of PSI is. Uh, pressure per square inch. Uh, metric... PSI? Yes, 
pressure. Newton per meter squared. Okay, see that is not, I don't understand how that works. And there's also bars, whatever, megapascals. Um, this is replacing blunt damage. So if you're getting hit with a baseball bat or a bullet, um, they all have some amount of uh, blunt penetration. Armor tends to have poor uh, blunt reduction up until like marine armor. That's when you start to get proper protection from blunt damage. Um, that has traditionally been how you defeat a person wearing armor, is you just bludgeon them till their brain jiggles loose of their skull. I'm not a doctor. Um, anyway, so this is pretty terrible protection. This will not protect you against even dog bites. Like, for instance, we can look here at Friar. Um, in combat, let's see. Where's his DPS? Melee DPS. That's not it. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it will protect you against... Oh, I guess, never mind. It will protect you fairly well against dog bites um, and scratches and, and stuff like that. Oh, see, right here. This will leave a nasty bruise, but if he bites on a spot that the clothing protects, it will not penetrate, typically. Um, quality affects... So like normal quality here, if this were legendary, it would provide more protection. Um, it's no substitute for armor, um, but it, better armor will protect you better. Uh, as well as the HP of the item. So if it drops to, I believe it's 80%, that's when protection starts to diminish significantly. And below 50%, it's almost, it's, I mean, it's going to be dramatically less protection. So it's always important to switch armor out. Okay, I'm gonna hit play. I could have had been playing the whole time. Um, so here we go. Purple turtle here, the steel bassinet. Um, its its protection is gonna be two to three and a half millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. Um, it does not protect as well around the eye, which makes sense because you have to be able to see through it. Um, and this is pretty consistent across most armors. Um, it provides decent protection against blunt damage, so. Uh, a dog biting, a steel helmet, rarely, if ever, will deal any damage whatsoever. Uh, bigger animals will deal better blunt damage, but a little beagle will not be able to claw this person's eye out. Anyways. Ah, let me finish this. So we're going to do button down. That's a P. Button down. So these cover the arms in addition to the shoulders and torso and neck. So we're going to copy this, go there, we're going to do pants. Oh my gosh. I am regretting adding this mod. Okay, and then we're going to do toques. Because toques can be worn underneath simple helmets, which is a very big bonus. Uh, we're going to do a backpack, but we're not... Let's see. Yeah, we're going to do the combat extended backpack. And then we're going to do the vest. Tactical vest. These help improve the amount of mass and bulk that your person can carry. Might just be bulk, actually. Yeah, and reload speed. Uh, which makes sense. Boots. We're going to do gloves. Not the vanilla extended ones. The hand and footwear ones. dusters as well. Is there anything else we need to add? Not for right now. So these are not going to protect them very well, especially since they're just going to be made out of cloth. Um, but they will be lightweight and easy to carry. And keep them relatively warm. What do these belts do? That looks good. Okay. So, once we're done with all the construction stuff and have something to do it with, Squishy will get on that. Butcher. Forever. Stone blocks. 
forever. We're going to set the range to be fairly short on that. Yeah. And if any of you guys who are watching, and I suspect it will be very few to begin with, um, have any suggestions or something that I'm doing that is just so blatantly obviously wrong, uh, please be sure to leave it in comments or uh, send me a message on Discord or however it is you prefer. I, I can't guarantee that I'll um, see any smoke signals you send, but I'll try and keep my eye open, you know? Okay, Squishy's working on that. Power's coming in. We need to do some research here. So I'm half tempted to go for Devil Strand first, but I think instead we are going to rush gunsmithing. Gas operation here. So that, I've got a mod here that does all this, so it'll do smith. Yeah, you can see how that works. Gunsmithing is what allows you to produce most of the ammunition, I believe. It also has a Gatling gun, which I'm excited to use. Um, smithing, I think, adds the cannon. Yeah, here we go, cannon. Uh, and one of my real quick little test worlds to make sure all the mods were behaving well enough. Um, I got a cannon and I blasted some dudes with buckshot. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, we are going to do the combat extended folks. Squishy also, also thinks we should have a name. We're going to do I don't know. Mac, what should we do for a name? Settlement name? Farlands. The Farlands or just Farlands? Farlands. The. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so here at the Farlands, we're going to be demonstrating how Combat Extender works. Alright, first rice harvest coming in. Brandits. Brant. Brandit? We're going to go with Brant. Brant's uh, starting to cook up the first little bits of food here. Oh, and since we've cleared up that spot, we can get going with some furniture. To start off, we're going to do those, and we're going to do some standing lamps. Alright, recreation time. Are you getting all the stuff you need? Yeah, you should be good. Squishy, do you just suck at constructing or do you have something problematic with you? Anxious, too smart. No. Okay, you're gonna get better though. Yeah, you just suck. That's fine. The first step of getting good at something is being bad at it. Something. Jake the dog, probably. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to queue up some hunting of predators. Yeah. Uh, Combat Extended, really... The de design philosophy, if you're not aware, is basically that if you get shot once or twice, you're pretty much done. Um, in Vanilla Room World, you can be walking around just fine with 12 or 15 bullet wounds, and you're just, eh, who cares? Um, you know, just, just walk yourself to the hospital, check yourself in, not even go into the ICU or whatever. Uh, combat Extended, you get hit once or twice, especially in the torso, and you're done, skis. All right, who's hunting? Smart's hunting. So, like, for instance, right here, we got the right kidney destroyed. Oh, yeah. And this person is bleeding out very fast. All right, haul him back, and let's get moving. Um, it's important before you're able to produce bullets to be pretty um, conservative with your ammunition. Like, for instance, right here, I'm going to actually tell him to go hunt the other thing. Because that thing's going to bleed out in two hours. Wildlife. Lynx. Small. 
Arts, where is it at? I said it was over here. Looks, ah, there it is. So this badger over here, hurt pretty bad, stomach shot, bleeding 500%. Kidney with one shot, dropped from pain probably, and finished off. Let's see now, this badger is unconscious somewhere around here. Oh, it died actually. Yep, bled out. So smart's what you do now. Oh, you're harvesting. Perfect. So I've told him to stop sowing, because we are going to switch to corn now. Cut that, because it's irritating me. Are all of these from vanilla now? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a good change, but it clutters some stuff up. You're just hauling at this point. Cleaning. Just hauling. I should have cleaned in here, actually. Actually, don't do that. So, cotton's coming along. Fifty-fifty. I'm actually going to uh, set it up. Oh, here we go. Our first man with a club raid. Oh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. All right. Desensitize. Psychically sensitive. Teetotaler. Insatiable. Oh my. All right. Decent at plants and melee. Okay. Let's not let this guy get a hold of our guys, but shouldn't be too much of a threat. Um, after all, bullets. Bullets do some damage. He's coming straight for us. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Okay, now it's time to move. Okay, I'm going to set it up so that our person with the knife is out front, just in case, and I'm going to actually tell you to move here. Okay, let's see what Squishy's doing here. Um, there is a thing here where if you click on the person and hover over, you can see not exactly how likely you are to hit them, but the general chances. So darkness, because it is 70... So because it's early in the morning, he's going to have a little harder time shooting him. Um, let's see. Visibility. I'm not super sure what that is. Because he's so far away, he's having to predict which way he's going to move. Uh, there's the general sway of the rifle, spread of the ammunition, um, and then the target's basically size that can be hit. Uh, bullets in Combat Extended are not just graphical, they actually represent the flight of the purse or of the uh, round. So he took a hit, fairly non critical hit, got hit in the shoulder. I'm going to tell this guy. Oh, aiming is not vanilla. Okay, I'm actually going to tell this guy to hold fire because these uh, 303s deal a lot of damage. They are full-sized rifle rounds, uh, which I should talk about here in a minute. And I'm going to let the revolver do the damage now. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Long shot. If that would have hit with the rifle, if he would have been hit in the lung with the rifle, that would have been real bad. Okay, so I'm going to put down another furniture, a sleeping spot. We are going to capture. Just leave the knife on the ground. We're actually going to tend. Mm, no, 
Yeah, that's a long hit. Just take him in real quick. And Smarts is set up to be our doctor. Leave this open. Yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Patch that lung up first, and then he should be fine. Now we've got three hours. Okay, he'll live, assuming he does not get an infection. Speaking of, let's clean all this up. Reduce the chance of an infection happening. All right, and back to business. You're not bad with plants, so you can do more planting. Yeah. Oh, goody. Okay, so we've harvested all the rice. I'm gonna let them plant corn now. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna record for an hour here. So we've got another 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna I'm gonna post this on a couple of different spots. I think the Combat Extended uh, Discord channel, if you're not already on there, maybe a couple other spots. But yeah, if uh, in the comments, if you want to post where where you found this video, that'd be awesome. Just so I can see where um, where I may want to focus my attention more in the future, or you know, however that works. Yeah. So, you know, first first week, I don't think we've done so bad here. Need someone to start hauling in some animals. Um, boomalopes are important because um, they are milked for both chem fuel and an explosive, basically, uh, which are important for helping you deal with mechanoids. Uh, mechanoids are pretty tough here towards the end. Uh, real quick, let me let me explain. Um, Rifle rounds and other rounds. So, guns, all that guns provide is rate of fire, uh, magazine, and particular accuracy. Everything else is done by the bullets themselves. So, a 303 British, um, this is a rimmed cartridge uh, used by the British in World War One and Two. I think they stopped once everyone joined NATO. Um, and then they switched over to NATO 762 and then NATO 556. Um, so most most full-sized rifle rounds are very very performance similar. Um, you have different types of ammunition, but typically full metal jacket is the middle of the road. AP is the simple way to penetrate more armor, um, but it leaves a smaller hole because it just pokes a hole through a person. Um, so it does less damage overall, but it penetrates twice the amount of armor. And then hollow point penetrates almost no armor, but deals the most damage. It typically will stop in the target, imparting almost all of the damage into them. Um, but you'll notice, because they're traveling the same speed, they deal the same amount of blunt damage. Um, and then, let's see, we got armor-piercing incendiary. These are more advanced ammunition types. Uh, they deal uh, extra types of damage. So you can see this is an armor-penetrating round, so it, deals, it penetrates 14 millimeters of armor. Um... And it gives a little bit of a burn. I think incendiary rounds can light ponds on fire. I actually really hate that. Um, because it'll light everything on fire. Because now you have someone who's on fire who's spreading the fire. And then once the fire starts spreading, it spreads to other people. It's just a nightmare. I typically avoid those. Uh, you have the HE rounds. These are more... I mean, they, they deal... I don't think these ones will deal armor... Or, uh, AOE damage, but these will hit a person with a lot of damage. These are your best for dealing with tribal raids. And you have Sabo rounds. These will penetrate 21 millimeters of armor. If you don't know what a Sabo is, I would highly recommend you look up just pictures of how they work, or like a little animation. They're just tiny little, almost needles basically, that penetrate. Um, this will break 21 or 20 millimeters of armor. 
20 is the important threshold. Mechanoid centipedes have 20 millimeters of armor, so this is what you need to start really damaging them. Um, and because the Sabo round fires much faster than all the other ones, it deals more um, Mega Pascal. Let's see. And yeah, you can see all these guys down there. Um, uh, 20 millimeters is a very important break point because that's where you can deal with mechanoids. That's where you can deal with uh, proper body armor uh, beyond stuff like, you know, wooden armor or, or things like that. That's when you start to penetrate bulletproof jackets, basically. Um, that's, that's a very important threshold to make. Now, you can still do it with these full metal jackets because uh, armor-proof vests or bulletproof vests have terrible um, blunt damage protection. So you're going to leave massive bruises on these people, but you're just going to have to bludgeon them to death with bullets, basically. It's not very effective. You'll deal a fraction of 19 damage. Um, and as you damage them, you will reduce their effective protection rating. So eventually you will start penetrating, but you're going to have to unload a lot. And with these Lee Enfield rifles, these are single shot. It's going to be several magazines worth. And keep in mind, they're also either closing on you with knives or swords or whatever or they're shooting back at you um, so important to note there uh, but then you have pistol rounds um, 44 magnum most of these are fairly similar uh, you can get some real weak ones like 22 long rifle or 25 ACP but um, it's kind of a, a heavier one but you'll see that um, some of them actually change based on like which gun they're being fired out of. Um, this, is, this is kind of weird. I don't understand exactly what's going on here. But um, they only have one shot. One, or sorry. We'll do this one. There we go. Uh, you can see the AP for the 44 Magnum just doesn't have the same damage potential as the other ones. They're just, they're weaker. So if you're protected against pistols, it doesn't matter most what pistols this is not making any sense i'm rambling at this point point being um if i say someone is protected against pistols most pistols will have a hard time hurting them but rifles they're still quite vulnerable to and if i say that someone is protected against rifle rounds they are kitted up um, they might still have some weak spots like you can shoot off fingers but you're not going to be able to hit lungs or hearts or livers which are the kill shots really Anyways, I'm going to get off here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed if you've watched this whole thing. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all around. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.